what's going on everybody we're back here with another weather and waves video here man so yeah man we're here for the new event the tactical simulacra and here man you know you just go in here fight multiple bosses and also score some points now for me or, some, or someone like you know, anybody whether it's f2p or light span or big spanner i don't think it matter as long as you go in here and kill the boss as quickly as possible you should get enough points leading to the next round now this event is a timed event currently but who knows if this is going to be a uh, permanent game mode so i wanted to just go over this with everybody just to see you know how do everybody like this mode or you know if you're struggling or whatever if you need to redo some things now like for me my echoes are okay like i don't say they're like maxed out to where i don't need to farm new ones but they are decent enough to do a lot of damage so here we are we do have to wait for these other ones to open up and this one is relatively easy so it is on 70 so i don't know if it um scales to maybe your level because my characters are on 70 so it is what it is but yeah man um i had got 15 1500 on my first attempt and that's playing around i was using um uh, yeah, and then uh, Yuan Wu and uh, Jinxing. I didn't even use Varina or anything like that because I was just seeing what the damage was looking like. But you want to do this? Look at all this asteroid. Look at all this material. Also, look at this. You know, here's an echo here. You know what I mean? So, big W. Of course, you want to get all this done. Uh, Chang Li is about to come out as well. So, you know, can't wait to do these. I can't wait five hours for this to unlock. But I want to do this now again. But I'm also going to do this with verena and hopefully i get a higher score so uh unselect you now of course lightning is a, a, a bonus damage in here so if you have yin lin i would say yeah she is uh your girl now i didn't notice this at first when i came in here i see that they gave us calcaro um at a level 80 calcaro in here you know i didn't even notice it so i'm gonna put that calcaro in here and I'm gonna throw in Verena. So yeah, man. Finna um use him with Yinlin. And we finna, you know, make some happy, baby. Last one, where are you? Highest for or not? Maybe my Jensen maybe hit harder because I was able to. Oh, I got a better score, but I was able to um, hit them, and then of course have the ult ready, so I was able to hit them harder, even though she has a damage reduced. But you see, I got a new record. But like I said, this is not, you know, nothing too crazy or anything like that. Like I said, this is just something you can do over and over again, and then get these points accumulated. Then of course get these total. Uh, rewards but this game mode as you see we just fought three bosses there i don't know if it's going to increase as we go up the levels i don't know if it's always going to be three but uh but um you know hopefully it gets a little better like i said it's not nothing too crazy like i, said, I think this is a start just to try to get new things in you know besides the regular weeklies and dailies and things like that but i can see this growing into something else 
I know we don't currently have like a boss rush type of mode or something like that already. I mean, you can fight the bosses anytime. You know, there is no no cap or anything like that to farm uh, echoes. So, you know, people may not care about that. But I do want to fight them besides just holograms, um, you know, in a different variety or in a different type of mold, you know, where they're really, really juiced up just to get a little challenge. So, you know, if you like challenging games, uh, that game mode can be just for those type of players. You know, it don't have to be for free to plays or anything like that. Like me, I'm free to play, but I'm still going to play it just because I think, um, you know, I can still clear a lot of the content. I did the same thing on other games, like let's say Honkai Star Rail, FTP fully for the year and some change. And I was able to do uh, Forgotten Hall and all these different other modes. Um, you know, but I, with E, same thing, you've seen people do it on Genshin for a long time. I don't know how it's been since because they haven't played in a good while, but Spiral Bits was very simple and easy. So it is what it is. Uh, but, you know, it's a limited time thing. Uh, make sure you guys are doing these events. Come in here play it per day this is going to be easy it's just, it's just doing it once every time you log in and once all the events are here in a couple days just do them all that's a hunter that's a bunch of currency here a lot of money a lot of uh, century material for characters and weapon and of course uh asteroids this right here it's going to also vary in total so we'll see how this goes uh like i said hopefully we're there but as you continue to log into your dailies and weeklies of course you can come in here and challenge it again to get a better score you get better echoes get better crit damage crit rate ratios or better weapons who knows you can come back and do here because chain lee will be out here too who knows if you changed all your resources and you know waiting for chain lee to get here and you can just come in here with chain lee as well and also play these modes so like i said it'll be here for a couple days so you can just come in here and do it and like i said for even new players say if you picked up the game late of course you missed um you know some of the events that have you know been out but um yeah this event will be available to you so just make sure you uh, you know meet the requirements you, know, you gotta play through the story and all that and then you know you eventually get to whatever the requirement is to play this mode but yeah man uh not bad overall uh it's just it's 70 but they do give you like i said trial characters so they give you kalkaro gian and even baishi here or even um or Cheffy just just for the heck of it and i think that's crazy so you don't i didn't even really have to use my yin lin and verena but verena i would say better if i wanted to use two 80s i could have used just verena uh with more Cheffy plus uh Kalkaro, if i really really wanted to just amplify the damage but i want to have two uh damage dealers so i can do damage swap them out do damage swap them out i'm just so used to that not just using uh two supports and one attacker but you know like i said we're not here to brag about the score or anything like that like i said mine's is minimum you know i don't think i did anything too crazy i'm pretty sure there are some stacks like stacked accounts i've seen people getting uh what 1600 and like i said it doesn't really matter i'll take my 1525 and end it at that let me know how you like this mode um like i said uh, we haven't seen how it looks fully so we're not going to fully evaluate this until we get to the end so whether that's going to be in difficulty whether that's going to be in points you know hopefully these points is not you know hard to get all the way through so i would say my my full evaluation of this mode until everything is unlocked and I suggest you do the same. But let me know your initial impressions. Do you like finding multiple bosses here? Does it seem fun? You know, do that real quick. Even though it's short lived, you know, they are not that strong or anything. And they give you trial characters. How do you like it so far? Just to get free asteroid. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.